Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we're going to be building this Revels 135 scale 2 kits in 1 an M34 tactical truck which is known as a deuce and a half and an off-road vehicle which is known as the Willis Jeep Let's do this Okay folks, I've gone ahead and added these leaf springs. I tried filming this bit on camera, but my hands were getting in the way, so I quickly done it off camera. Our next step is to add these little pieces that go to the back to the leaf springs. They're like extra, they're like torsion arms or some, some sort. I've gone ahead and done this off camera as well. I had to put the uh, sides in the front grille and the hood on and stuff. I try again. I tried doing it on camera because it's so fiddly and it requires your hands to get in multiple positions. Again, if I try filming it, my hands should just be in the way. So I've just gone ahead and done it off camera quickly. So this is the, how the uh, cab looks. We have got a back part to go over here on the cab shield windshield's got to go in uh, and the roof
Okay folks, I've gone ahead and glued the cab on now and I've dry fitted the side bed uh, walls and I put the uh, back of the trailer on as well. Uh, you don't, If you don't put glue in, you can allow it to be uh, mo mo movable and the same as the front. If you don't glue the doors in, you can have the doors open or closed. You can mo adjust them, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a couple of gaps here and there, but I expect to do all that because of the age of the kit. So, but so far it's coming out nicely, uh, especially for the age because it's like the kit was released back in 1957. So it's not bad for what it is. Uh, our next step is to put in these six segments here, which are the uh, benches, which I'll quickly cut this off. And they will sit in there. You can have them in the down position, which would be like that in the down position. Or if you wish to have them up, basically they will fill in the gaps if you have having them up. Obviously, you, if you have them up, it's space for cargo. If you have them down, it's for the troops to sit onto. Um, also, we've got fuel tank to go on. If you wish to see what the roof looks like, um, the roof goes on there. The front windshield here also has got to go on, but I need to paint all this inside first and do and do d details. So that's the reason why I haven't bothered sticking it on. And obviously you've got to put the acetate tape on as well. Um, so there, there's what the truck looks like um, with the uh, cab on pretty cool I won't glue the roof on though because I want it so when people can have a look you can see the internal so it's all, all going to be like parts of it going to be movable um, we have a spare little jerry can which goes on the side here simple um, again I'll put these on and then we can paint it all um, the internal seats have got to be done it's all olive drab apart, apart from the seats and the uh, um, seats are like a uh, khaki colour I think and like the uh, gear stick is black and whatever steering wheel is black which is here and the wheels come as two pieces they simply just snap together like that and your wheel goes in but you don't snap them together and then put the wheel on because the wheel won't fit you need to put the, this into one side of the wheel and then snap this on the other side so what I will do is paint all of these separately put them into the wheels and then just snap it in um, may need a little bit of glue may not all depends but um, it's going to be a static model anyway so you're not going to be messing around with it so our next step is to glue the back rails in now. Okay folks, the uh, truck's all uh, glued up in places now and what we're going to do is going to put this to one side, let this dry and we're going to work on the Jeep. Okay, I've gone ahead and put the uh, side fenders on this, what the side fenders look like. There's only several parts to this, it's, it's uh, moulded is uh, quite a lot of pieces. It's um, quite a simple build, I would say, because it's such an old kit, it's from 1957, same as a truck. So, uh, next step would be uh, 
with an extra one side, get in your hood, bonnet, whatever, and your dash. This gets glued into the hair. Um, tolerance on this kit is quite it's quite okay. And that's pretty much that. Going back to the truck, or not truck, but the uh, Jeep. You got your back seat, of your, um, your seats. They just slot into there. So a tiny bit of glue to hold them in place. the um, Jeep which is here which goes in there line this up so it fits and that's that in again some glue Just the back of the Jeep done, and windshield goes on last because it's got to be painted. With uh, spare wheel goes on last, and I think that's it. Yeah, so pretty much we're ready for paint now. Um, I actually got to put the front of the uh, Jeep on. This piece here, front of the Jeep. Simply just gets glued into there. Can't do it, I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, I've gone ahead and put the uh, front part of the grill, grill on the Jeep. It took a little bit of fiddling because of the age of the kit, it doesn't fit properly. So, a little bit of cutting and fit it and sanding, we can get there. It's pretty cool, pretty cool little kit. It's alright for what it is. I'm um, going to let this dry now and then we'll be ready to uh, do paint. Okay folks, we're ready for paint. I'm going to do a black base uh, of primer. I'm going to use UMP uh, flat black for this. This will be my shadow colour and check if there's any imperfections. Um, hopefully there shouldn't be much. Um, and then we're going to go over with white highlights and then we go down with its uh, olive drab colour. So we're going to go ahead and paint this black.
Okay, folks, I've gone ahead and painted the tarp in the same way as I do the, the truck and the uh, uh, um, Jeep, which was the black base, white highlights. And now I'm going to go over with the uh, olive green lightly. Once that's dry, we can go over with khakis and tans and stuff just to uh, blend it all in to make it like a fabric colour. Okay, folks, we've gone ahead and finished off the top. Now, we, I went over, as you see, in khaki very lightly. And what you want to do is go through the centre, but leave the dark spots on the actual supports. Um, so it looks like it's and tops on and it stretches. It, it creates shadows and stuff. And so you can see where it's stretched around the edges um, our next step once this is dry is to clear coat it so it all blends in and then we can weather it and wash it and stuff to make it a bit more like fabric and stuff Howdy folks, uh, the kit is all finished now, this is the uh, finished product for the uh, deuce and a half and the uh, jeep, it's a pretty good kit for its age, um, I did do some minor touches on the uh, top on the back, I did put some string around the bottom to make it look like it's got some tie down areas. I did a light weathering with some Vallejo pigments, light sienna and European earth. I didn't want to 
do too much weathering on this one but so I did it a, a slight wear around the bottom of the uh, vehicles um, it's come out pretty well and the decals are pretty good for this kit even though the kit came out back in 1957 I think it was I believe um, it's not bad for what it is uh, the kit's about £20 it's a, it's a bargain in my value um, the only thing I wasn't too keen on is the acetate windows I wish they would use proper plastic but um, what I've done with this kit for the deuce and half if I'll stop this here is I've done the, the top roof uh, so removable so you can have it open and the same as the uh, top as well you can take that off on the inside is a little bit chipped up and stuff the back bed works we have both doors work um, that's pretty cool and then if we just let this spin round the only thing that works on the Jeep is the windshield can go down or up that's the only thing so the only thing that works on the Jeep is the windshield you can have it up or down but as I say it's, a, it's pretty good kits for his age um, should check it out um, there isn't really much else to say about this kit. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.